morning everyone i am about to head out to myeongdong and get my cheesy corn dog finally I'm wearing this today it's really cozy and yeah this is my last full day here in south korea so scale of 1 to 10 the amount of fun that i've had here so far the overall experience i would rate as an 8 only because i didn't get to go to the bumble bridge or the Namsan tower which were the two things that i really really wanted to see in the first place like that's why i wanted to come to korea for the, you know ever aside from that i've had a really really great time here i look forward to coming back some other time i gotta go head out to myeongdong do some last minute shopping i'm gonna look for art box because i think that's where i'm probably gonna get the majority of the things that i still need to buy and then eat a lot of street food I'm back from Yangdong and I got some, some stuff. I got some snacks to take back with me because I'm leaving tomorrow. So, also, I'm sorry I didn't really record while I was at Myeongdong. I was trying to find an art box that I never came across. That I walked, I swear, I walked everywhere. I couldn't find an art box, but I did get some really cool souvenirs, so it's okay. So, this I actually had the very first day that I was here. Um, it's really soft and it has like this sweet feeling on the inside and so I got this because I think my mom might really like it. Next I got this. I think this is like strawberry milk and the white one. The vanilla looking one was um, like banana milk. So I can go ahead and try it. I heard some people say that was really good and other people are like no it's disgusting. So I'm gonna try that for myself. These which I also got when I first arrived. Oh I thought it was opened. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna give some to family, keep one for myself. I got the pepero. To be honest, I prefer Pocky over pepero. I don't know why, I just, I think there's more of a, like a chocolatey taste to Pocky. Oh, let me show you something. So I got this. Do you guys remember the amazing, I think it was like Amaze, Amaze M&M, M&M Amaze, something like that. Um, where it had, where it's like this, except it used to be a lot wider, and it was the amazing bar, I think is what it was called. And for some reason, it got discontinued, and then I ended up finding some back home at like Target, but it was like the packaging was a little different, and the packaging here for this is also different. So I got it because like I need that. I think I'm gonna eat it. I did get my cheesy corn dog. It's actually called like a cheese hot dog, even though it's a corn dog. It tasted really good. It was like mozzarella on the inside. I thought it was gonna be more of like gooey cheese, but it wasn't. Now I gotta find a way to fit all this in my carry-on bag. I'm gonna go to the store right now because there's a seven, there's a store nearby. So I'm gonna go there and um, I'm gonna get a water bottle for tomorrow. I still have like a jug of water right here, but that's for the rest of the day today. So I'm gonna get a water bottle for tomorrow. Um, some snack like that I can eat early in the morning and I want to get the chocolate chips that I got when I first got here as well. I'm gonna get one for like right now if I want it and then for later as well. So yeah, that was my convenience store haul. I honestly don't even know where to begin with packing. Clothes or the bath. Oh, I have to throw that cake out from yesterday. I have to throw that out. Um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Then I'm going to go to the convenience store, toss the cake out. And I need to get the spicy chips for my friend. That's what I need to get. I have a feeling it's going to leave my tongue feeling kind of dry. The way it smells, I can imagine it leaving my tongue kind of dry. Because it's it smells so similar to something else. Oh, it tastes like when you're eating tricks and the milk is all that's left and you drink the milk. That's what it tastes like. It's not bad. Like, I'm not going to run to the store and get 10 of these, but it's not bad. So, while I was in Hongdae, oh my gosh, not Hongdae, I did not go there again. When I was in Myeongdong earlier today, I got my last minute gifts that I need to get and something for myself as well. Okay, so... <clears throat> I actually got a bunch of these. Some of them are a little different. Yep, 
so I got these. So, which one? So this one will be for, so here's this one. There's 50,000 won, they're really cute. I was really thinking about getting like a pop socket that had something similar to like this, but I didn't. Well, they had different keychains, but um, these ones, I kept looking at these, so these ones really caught my attention. This one I think is gonna be mine. Then you have these ones. And this one's the same. This one's the exact same. So yeah, they're really cute. I think my favorite is this. But like, <laughs> I want the one with the soju bottle. Which I don't really drink, but I was thinking about getting some soju while I'm here. Like going to the convenience store um, and getting some soju. But since I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, these are really cute. I tried to get my sister's water bottle at the airport. Um, we'll see how much it costs. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go to the airport and do that. Um, Oh, I didn't even notice the bag. It has Hello Kitty on it. They had some Sanrio stuff there as well. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my night. It's only like 5 something right now, like 5.30 or something. Um, but I'm gonna spend the rest of my night going to the convenience store, getting my stuff, and packing. I'm just trying to figure out how everything is gonna fit. Honestly, I don't have... I mean, I think... My carry-on bag is going to have most of the stuff in there, like the most of the new stuff that I got. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. I was thinking about wearing my... Gosh, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing the Tata sweatshirt that I have. I was thinking about wearing that to the airport tomorrow. But I'm going to be like, you know, on the plane for like 11 hours and it's all clean right now. And so, I don't know, to be wearing it on a plane for that long. I don't know. Plus, I'm gonna be sweating in it. I'm gonna have to go up and down the stairs again. All right, so I'm already getting ready to pack my stuff. My, I think I'm gonna start with my carry-on bags. Like, these are all going on the carry-on. And then all the bags going on my carry-on, except for this. This one's going under because, you know, people could use it as a weapon. So this has to go in my suitcase. the bag to some of these items just because they can't fit. Good morning everyone. Today is officially the last day here in South Korea. Um, I'm getting ready to leave right now. I am out of breath because I was trying to zip up my suitcase. This is what I'm wearing to the airport. My dad jeans with this new shirt that I showed you in my other vlog. And yeah, I had a pretty good time here in South Korea. Um, I didn't wash my hair this morning because I'm gonna be showering right when I get home anyway. So my bangs are like super oily. So it's like flat, it's like really, really flat right there. And then it's like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my trash out right now. Reapply some deodorant because I was sweating from <sighs> trying to zip that up. I was so scared. I was like, what if it doesn't zip up? I also have to weigh my luggage. When I weighed it back home, it was like around 30 pounds, I want to say. And then my carry-on was like, I don't know, like less than 10 pounds. It was like 7 pounds or something. So um, my carry-on definitely is a lot heavier now. But my suitcase, the only thing that I have in there, like the only extra clothing that I put in there is the big coat that I was wearing when I got here. So I don't think that would have weighed, you know, it wouldn't have put too much weight on it. But I'm still going to weigh it. I'm still nervous about it for some reason. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the trash out, then weigh my luggage, come back in here, do whatever else I need to do. Yeah, so I was weighing my luggage. Um, I have to do it again though, because I don't think it weighed it right. The only extra thing that I put in there was that coat, so it should not be over 50 pounds. Plus, I can pick it up, which means that it's probably, I can pick it up pretty easily, so it's probably not 50 pounds. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. So I'll show you my bag. So I managed to fit all the snacks in here. Got the little alpacas or llamas, whatever they are. 
I'm gonna get some water outside because we have like a little um, water dispenser out there. So I'm gonna get some before I go. Um, my wallet, my mask. I had to throw that last bit of trash out because I forgot to put it with the rest of the trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, so this has been my trip to South Korea. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I can't wait to get home and eat, eat, get home and just like eat some food, you know, eat my mom's food. So I'm really excited about that. This is an 11 hour flight, so it definitely is a lot shorter than coming here. But yeah, either way, I'm excited. I'm going home. I had such a wonderful time here. Um, yeah, this is I gotta say goodbye to that it's so pretty but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head out right now so wish me luck i i can fit my passport in here and so like i have my team money cards so i'm gonna keep it in here oh i'm gonna miss this sign so much i think i actually lost some weight because this was never this loose before and i noticed in the shower that my stomach was a little bit flatter right here so I'm about to gain all that back once I go home because I'm going to be eating my mom's food and some junk food, so yeah.